going it is nicole joy and i'm alone again so i figured i would finally try to finish out that vlog that i've been doing with the twitter dares that uh youngster joey sent me so and i have to update the previous one if it's one big video i just have to update what happened before uh, i am no longer 26. today is my birthday and I'm 27, so it's also ironic that one of my biggest series that I do on YouTube is Pokemon, and I was happened to be born on Pokemon Day, so that's incredibly ironic. So hopefully later on today I can get Streamlabs going, and I want to try to ooh, sorry, I want to try to stream um, a randomized Pokemon Yellow. Um, I already have the layout and stuff. I just don't know how to like connect with the streaming and stuff and I don't know how my internet's gonna work and all but anyway before I get too distracted and caught up I just wanted to thank y'all for being here uh, my birthday is going very well so far I uh, had some good chats last night with Mark and Joey and uh, Ray and all that so it's a pleasure to have met all of you polka fans and yeah let's let's make today great so I'm gonna try to finish this up uh, the last two questions that I have for the Twitter dare kind of go hand in hand so I figured I would just do them all in one video or one recording session as it is so I don't know how I'm gonna answer these to be honest um, they're a little difficult the final two questions are dealing with what are your turn ons and your turn offs now I'm kind of I guess fussy uh, which is good you're supposed to have standards but um I don't really know how I'm going to answer that. Uh, I have a lot for both, actually. So I'll just start with the turn offs because that's probably going to be faster, to be honest. Um, my turn offs, the main one for me would probably be smoking. Just because I don't really get why you would slowly poison yourself, you know? Um, and this isn't a diss on anyone who's watching who does smoke, you know? If that's your prerogative, if that's what you want to do, you do you. I just don't understand how you can. Uh, most of my family smokes. Not my immediate family. Uh, grandma used to, um, but her health got so bad from the smoking that she finally quit when I was like two, I want to say, and she's been off of them ever since. So uh, yay for that. She's now uh, 85 and still feisty and bitter and angry and just still just as kicking as ever so she's very healthy and she's still here because she quit smoking and then I'm not understanding how people who don't smoke can be with people who do um like how do you sleep with that because the the smell of the smoke is on you it's it's, it's in your hair it's on your clothes it's in your bed it's on your skin it's you know it it affects you from day one of starting and my my family is going through issues because of their smoking um one of my uncles has like emphysema and copd because he smoked like chain smoking he was multiple packs a day so and even if the people aren't smoking around me i can still smell it when i meet them so i know that they're smoking i just i just don't understand how anyone can do that you know um along the same lines one of my turnoffs used to be like drinking and uh, tattoos and stuff but I'm I'm slacking off on that uh, tattoos aren't that big of a deal anymore as long as they're done tastefully I don't like tattoo sleeves which is kind of frustrating for me because my my biggest uh, lifetime childhood crush guy always had tattoos but then when he came back from an, an injury or suspension or whatever it was he had tattoo sleeves and there was like skulls and roses and random sayings like everywhere on both of his arms and now he's got one on his chest and it's just so confusing like you have to keep your physique if you're gonna have tattoos like that and quite frankly he didn't he he didn't keep his physique at all I mean he still looks you know really good but he's he's nowhere near what he was so the, the tats are kind of like saggy now which is just wrong um beards were also a turn off when i was younger but now i'm kind of into a little bit of scruff you know a little bit of scruff not like this super long like zz top style because that's just a no but 
I don't really mind it. So now I guess uh, ignorance is also a massive, massive turn off. Um, people who don't know the difference between your and your and they're there and there and no and no and stuff like that. It's like I'm, I'm a self-professed grammar cop, at least when it comes to spelling. So it's massive, massive turn off for me on that. Like you, you gotta be smart. I like people with some intelligence, you know? Um, now along those lines, that's one of my turn ons actually would be intelligence, uh, reading. There is almost nothing hotter to me than a guy reading. Um, I seen a, a photo of this other guy that I had a, a small crush on and he was reading in the locker room and it was like, oh my God, as if you couldn't get any more perfect. Now you're reading too. So, um, let me see. I'm into like scruffy facial hair. A little, little bit. I pref still prefer clean shaven because that's just, you know, one of the things that I'm always going to enjoy. Um, intelligence, people reading, um, a really good sense of humor. I, I love to laugh. So anyone that can make me laugh, uh, you know, the, the dirtier the joke, the better sometimes. So, uh, yeah, so like, like jokes, not like super vulgar jokes, although vulgarity has its place, but yeah, I, I love really, really good jokes, some grit to them. Um, um, I guess for the, the superficial end of things, one of the turn-ons would be a, um, the, the cleft chin, like people with it with a chin dimple. Um, I've always been into that. And so I've noticed I have a pattern with, um, all the guys that I have liked, they all have some semblance of a, a dent. So and that all started from when I was 10, and my, my first crush had a had a really, really good defined chin with that, so every every man that I've ever had a crush on since I was 10, 12, 13 years old, they kind of are uh, placed next to the measuring stick of him, and so if they're not, if they're not anything like him, I just kind of fluff over like, pfft, no, not worth my time. But, so uh, let's see, Cliff... Cliff, uh, intelligence, good sense of humor, accents. I love, now that's incredibly cliche because what woman doesn't love a good accent, but uh, British, Australian, Australian accents are amazing. Um, French, I like French. Uh, just pretty much just any kind of like exotic foreign kind of accent, especially if you're not of that descent, but you're like doing impressions of it. For some reason, really good impressions are just magic for me. I don't know why, but it works. Um, also, again, superficial abs. I, I love a good pair of abs. They don't need to be like 12 pack or whatever, but a good set is nice. I have uh, an entire folder. I mentioned earlier with my one secret thing, I have an entire folder of pretty much like nothing but those. And I almost got myself in trouble. Um, yesterday I was working on the thumbnail for my uh, my 2k19 series that i'm doing going forward and i was zoomed in like massively on this guy and his uh his abdominal area and family walked in and i was like oh my god no trust me for a thumbnail oh my god so i i tend to make things a little more awkward than they actually need to be but i don't know it's just one of those things i'm very like self-conscious when it comes to like emotions and feelings and crushes and stuff like that. I mean, that's why very few people actually know who my crush is, because the, the one guy that does know the most never lets me forget it. You know, he uh, kind of holds it over my head, always makes these jokes about him, and completely ruins my night, but uh, I like it. So, anyway, as far as I know, those would be it. So, to recap, I've got uh, turn-offs of, like, smoking, um, ignorance slash stupidity, uh, poor spelling, and not like if there's an autocorrect or something, because at least then I could understand, but when it's like wrong, wrong, then I have a problem, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting to be a little more lenient with that now that I'm talking to some other people who don't really um, use the best, but they're still good people, you know? So I'm, I'm not quite as stingy as I used to be, but and then I turn ons, um, abs, abs, and more abs, uh, chin dimples, intelligence, like reading and being articulate. I just, you know, there, there's just something about that. Being 
all around all together. Sense of humor, accents, and impressions. And overall, just... Actually, I have to change that. One of my biggest turn-ons is confidence bordering on arrogance. Which again, goes back to my first ever crush. He was like the, the cockiest person I had ever seen. And I was so attracted to that, but now everyone else, if you don't at least have a touch of arrogance to you, I'm not even going to pay attention. So that is it. I'm going to try to condense this down a little bit, slap it onto the other ones and see if I can have one whole video or I'll see if Joey's okay with me doing a three-parter. But I want to thank y'all for being here. We just recently surpassed 700 subscribers and I am thrilled to hit 700 subscribers. Uh, we're almost at 150,000 views, which is fantastic. Uh, today, while I'm recording this, I've got my first Wrestling Wednesday video going up for my birthday. So I'm hoping that series goes really well. I've put a lot of time and effort and work into it, and I hope that it goes well. So I will catch y'all later. Thank y'all for joining me. Uh, links in the description for all the people that I've mentioned. Um, follow me on Twitter if you want to get in on this Twitter dare thing for when I miss a workout, which is never going to happen again, I promise. And, you know, consider subscribing if you want to follow along with my journey as well. And, um, yeah, I thank y'all for being here, and I hope to catch y'all soon. Later.